Hey everybody, Brian Garcia, meteorologist with the National Weather Service serving the San Francisco Bay Area and Monterey Bay regions. Want to talk to you a little bit about the weather that's coming up this weekend, but first I want to let you know, in light of the health crisis that is occurring, I wanted to tell you that we are a 24-7, 365 operation. The weather never stops, so neither do we. We've got plans in place, we've got backups in place, so that you will continue to have weather support from our dedicated staff at the National Weather Service 24-7, 365, so that you can make the best decisions possible for your state, for your county, for your city, for your jurisdiction, for your neighborhood, for yourself, for your family, forever, whoever you are involved with for decision making, we want to let you know that we are here to serve you and your community. With that, let's talk about weather. Cold temperatures, I threw at a medium risk for this weekend going into early next week. Uh, wind risk, I threw it low, which power outages kind of go hand in hand with that. Um, and I'll talk all about this in the slides to come. Flood risk is very low. Commute issues pop up to a medium. In terms of cold temperatures, after this cold front kind of rolls through, we'll start to see the cold temperatures roll in from the north and then creep on down to the south. So this is Sunday morning on the left here, Monday morning on the right. By the time we get into Monday morning, we'll see widespread 30s up in North Bay for those Monday morning lows and pockets of 30s uh, across the rest of the region. As we step into Tuesday morning, we'll see widespread 30s across the Bay Area and Monterey Bay region. So very chilling. you got to remember at this time, we're going to have a little bit of rain coming through, probably some showers. We'll get in, more into that in a bit. Then it starts to warm up from north to south, and we'll start to see the, uh, the south remain cool and the north start to start to warm up. Wind is another issue with this whole thing. Not a big issue, but still something we're looking at. This is uh, wind gusts, um, or I'm sorry, this is the sustained wind at about 2,500 feet. So you can see some winds coming across the area out of the southwest heading towards the northeast. And then things pretty much go calm during the uh, early part of the week. Just a little bit of wind lingering around out there. So our peak wind gusts are really going to be along the coast across our area of responsibility as well as up in the mountains. So think Mount Diablo, uh, Mount Tam, up in the Mayacamas, up in the Lake Berryess area, you're going to be gusty. But once you get down in the valleys, the peak wind gust really won't be that bad. So nothing really to worry about. Unless you're right at the coast, then it might be a little breezy onshore winds. In terms of rain, everybody's really focused on the rain. It's essentially going to be this cold front that rolls through. It's going to be a slow moving system, so it might stall for a little bit. And then that low really starts to get through. But it's going to kind of linger offshore, this area of low pressure. So it's going to continue to spin some showers up across our area. So what does that mean for us? Well, that means we're going to have unsettled weather through the first half of the work week before things really start to calm down for the second half of the work week. In terms of amounts, uh, the mountains down south as that low kind of slides down along the coast here, the mountains down to the south, so Santa Cruz Mountains, the Santa Lucias are going to be the biggest beneficiaries of this rain with about an inch and a half to two inches of rain forecast over this time frame. Uh, so this is Saturday through Tuesday. Up in North Bay, really not a lot. Only about a half an inch to an inch, maybe up to an inch and a half up in some of the hills. Uh, Mount Tam will pick up a little bit more. Down in the valleys, half an inch probably maybe some areas that see an inch but not a ton of accumulation so with all of that we have the cold temperatures so vulnerable populations of course will be impacted we have uh, the the winds along the coast um, so coastal areas and up in the mountains you might want to secure some stuff it's not going to be crazy windy but it's going to be breezy and then with the rain accompanied with the cool temperatures uh, could make for some pretty miserable conditions if you're outside so uh, these are some graphics that I threw up here feel free to steal them feel free to use them in your social media feeds but most of all uh, I just want to tell you to be sure to take care of yourself be sure to take care of your family be sure to take care of your loved ones be sure to take care of each other and be kind to each other. Tough times. So take care, everybody. Have a great weekend and stay safe.